Our first lesson will provide a brief overview of the top-level user interface elements of Text Converter, as well as demonstrate the basic steps required for the majority of data extraction tasks. Let's begin with opening an input file. You can drag and drop a file from the Windows Explorer, or you can load it from the toolbar, or the main menu. Also you can manually enter a file's path. A previously loaded file is available in the list of recent input files. Text Converter can read data from PDF, text, HTML, Excel, Word, and many other formats. In most cases, you will begin a data extraction setup by clicking on a typical detail line with the right mouse button and selecting Setup Tabular Fields from the selected line. Let's use this line of headers to initialize field names. Text Converter automatically creates input and output fields. Input fields or input dictionary together with input templates properties define the data extraction rules. Input fields have options which can be used to control individual extraction properties of each field. Output fields or output dictionary define the structure of the output destination which can be a database table or file. Output fields options can be used to modify various properties such as name, data type, format, calculation rules, and others. The input preview shows the input data, and the output pane visualizes the preview of extracted results. Project properties can be used to modify options related to the entire data extraction setup. Scripting pane allows an ultimate customization of your data extraction rules using Visual Basic Script, Simex libraries, and third-party components. All project elements are conveniently synchronized. Clicking on an input segment highlights the corresponding output cell, showing where data will go after extraction. Conversely, clicking on an output preview cell selects the corresponding input segment, highlighting where the data is coming from. Clicking on an input segment highlights the corresponding input field, and vice versa. The same goes with the output fields. Select a field in the input or output dictionary to start editing fields properties. We'll go over fields, templates and project properties in great details during the next lesson. But let me show you one very important feature now. I've slightly modified the input file, and as you can see, several lines are not picked up by the template any longer. Why? You can get an answer by clicking on a questionable line and looking at the status bar in the left bottom corner. Text Converter shows why this line has not been recognized. Let's allow the field to be empty. Now all lines are recognized. Now let's set up our output destination. Text Converter can load extraction results into any database using OLEDB or ODBC connectivity. Also they can be saved as Excel, Access, CSV, or text files. Let's save to Excel and run the process. The results can be viewed using our built-in data browser, which allows filtering, sorting, and aggregation. Now we can save the project for future use. Save project can be opened using the toolbar, main menu, or the list of recent projects. A project can be used with any number of input files which have a similar data layout. Text Converter's analytical and reporting capabilities will allow you to create various tabular and graphical summaries. The intuitive user interface makes setting up summary reports easy and fast. The resulting summaries can be saved to Excel, PDF, HTML, or Word. The lesson is now finished. You can learn more about text converter features and data extraction techniques in the coming tutorials.